probability question, and there's a can, that's my can, and there are 27 marbles in that can, and seven of, the, seven of these marbles are black, four are yellow, and the rest were red. Well, let's just calculate that real fast. If there are 27 marbles and 11 of them are either black or yellow, what's left but 16? And those are all red. So we have seven black, 16 red, four yellow. So this person, J, comes along and removes three of the black marbles. So that means there are, oops, let me fix that color. Now four black marbles. And then one more marble at random. Okay, so what is the probability that it was red? So if we have 16 and then 10 marble, 8 marbles still in the bag, that means there are 24 marbles in the bag. Well, what's the probability that it was red? Well, what is 16 and have 24? 8 goes into 16 twice and 24 three times. So there's a two-thirds chance that that marble was red. Next question. Okay, this person Zoe comes along and she eats one eighth of the pizza. Jasmine ate twice as much of the same pizza. She ate two eighths. What is the ratio of the amount of pizza, the two eight, to the amount of pizza remaining? Oh, okay, so together they ate three eighths of the pizza, which means five eighths was not eaten because five eighths and three eighths. That's all eight slices. Well, how do you write that as a ratio? Well, if you have this pizza pie, they ate three slices, but there were five that were not eaten. And I think that is choice C. Yep, that's the amount they ate to the total pizza remaining, the five slices. And the last question on this test was, if X is an even integer. Well, integers, this cool symbol right here, are 0, 1, all the whole numbers, and their opposites, and so forth. Well, which of these cannot be an odd integer? So f doesn't work, because if I plug in um, x is even, right? So part f says, let's say x is 2. Well then, x plus 1 is 3, and that's odd. So we plugged in an even, and we got an odd. We don't want that. They want to know which of the following cannot be an odd when you plug in x as an even integer. So x over 2, does that work? Well, if x was 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we plugged in even and got an odd. doesn't work. j and k are, I mean, you might recognize that they're kind of the same thing. You're either adding 1 or taking 1 away from twice x. So if x was 2, it would be 2 times 2 plus 1 or 2 times 2 minus 1 in both cases we get odds, right? 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 plus 1. So by logical, you know, positive elimination, h is the only one that has to be true. Let's look at y. Um, if you plug in an even, like 2 or 4, and then divide it by 3, you don't get an integer. You get a decimal. The only way to get um, some kind of odd number is by plugging in an odd number, like 3. 3 divided by 3 gives me 1. 4 divided by 3 gives me a decimal. 5 divided by 3 gives me a decimal. 6 divided by 3. Okay, so now we have a multiple of 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we plug an even in and we got an even. There's really no way to get an even, an odd number by plugging in an even x into that formula. So h is the answer.